Hey y'all. <clears throat> okay, so today is September the 13th, 2013. Uh, and, um, <laughs> well, I've still been, you know, this is day four where I haven't put my head under the water. So this is actually the longest time that I've gone without um, wet my hair. I've been um, spritzing with water. And I've used a lot of shea butter this last four days. And of course my coconut oil. And I've been doing those fat, chunky twists. And um, usually it's a little more stretched out. But um, today I did go to sleep without uh, putting a little twist in there. Because it was my... I worked all week and I'm tired. And I did sleep without twisting my hair up. But one thing I... I uh, never do um, go to sleep it is, hang on a second, without my little satin bonnet. You know what I mean? Even, you know, if nothing else, I've, for the last, yay, nine months. Tomorrow will be my ninth month anniversary. <laughs> for the nine months I can't. No, okay. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, so it one, hey, I'm excited. And, you know, I was coming on all kind of sad about, um, you know, the little dryness moment and having to, the new challenge of, like, what to do with my hair now. Because uh, it's, you know, it's been growing and stuff. So, um, <clears throat> and combating the whole, you know, how this type of hair that has the shrinkage, 75% of the length is <laughs> all shriveled up up in there. But um, one thing I never do is I never go to sleep without my satin bun. I actually got, like, four or five of these. Uh, like all over because um, I don't want to ever go to sleep without having one so if I misplaced it or put it somewhere I didn't know I've got lots of them so I've never not gone with that anyway so uh, water the coconut oil and then I've been doing a big chunky twist to give myself a blowout but I promise you <laughs> before the day is done <laughs> it already <laughs> it just this hair has to be wet, you know, re-moisturized like every three hours. It's so dry. But one thing is that I'm really starting to, look at that. My curl pattern is like starting to get up in there. <laughs> and, um, yeah. But, um, oh, sorry. I, yeah. It's dry, so I don't want to do too much manipulation to it. But, um, you know, I just moisturized it a couple of hours ago. I'm not sure what time it is, but let me see here. What is that? 701. Um, maybe, yeah, like I said, three hours ago, went to the store and, um, you know, so that's one thing, you know, I do this often, you know, even at work. Um, I, I don't use the spray bottle as much anymore because it takes a, little, a lot of spraying. So when I go to the restroom, I, when I'm washing my hands, I just take some water and I'm constantly doing this and I probably do that about three <laughs> to four times at work at night because my hair just this kind of hair texture um really soaks up water you know I mean it just dry it stays so dry and the thing we have to fight against is the dryness because that's where your hair breaks when it's dry you know it's like straw <laughs> that's why I, Never handle your even doing this like that's why I always you know even take the water from the faucet and I'm you know and I don't do it if it's dry I'm you, if you see me you'll notice I'll just kind of like be touching it like that because I'm like ooh fragile yeah so anyway yeah so you gotta that's why the you're gonna always have shrinkage because water equals shrinkage yeah you know I mean they kind of go hand in hand and unfortunately. This type of hair needs lots of um, lots of water, you know. And um, like for the last four days, I've just been using, you know, spritz. I haven't gotten up in there like I usually like to do. So I've just been taking bubble baths, which has been pretty relaxing while I ponder on what I'm gonna do with my hair. But um, you know, this is this is part of the journey, and I'm actually enjoying it. And um, realizing that more work is required now because 
I got to start with stretched out here because look here, before the day is over, it's going to get coiled up, tangled up, <laughs> wrapped up, tied up. <laughs> look at these knots. <laughs> And, um, yeah, and that's another reason why, I, you know, I still do the plucking. I'm not going to be combing my hair trying to get these knots out. This is what my hair does. But, you know, I manage them, um, you know, I'm going to comb once a month to get the shed hair out. And I get lots of shed hair out anyway while I'm, you know, doing this. And, um, actually, this is kind of replacing the whole, um sensation that I was getting when I was wetting my hair like I love um touching it and running my finger you know this whole detangling thing um and um yeah feels good but anyway um I'm probably gonna try to come up with a new style or some kind of way uh, something and um, I'll be posting something tomorrow for sure, or probably the 15th, because it'll be my nine-month anniversary. And what I want to do is, like, I've been watching all my little videos. You know, I started off with my little long dreadlocks, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to take this down. I will have, yeah. Um, anyway, it <laughs> yeah, I took out not even this much, but um, probably about like this many down and I had a, a whole whole bunch and it took me weeks <laughs> to take down just this little bit so anyway I ended up doing a big chop and started this whole little natural hair journey and um so just to watch it and really see now the progression like while you're in the midst of stuff you don't really see it like how I couldn't really see that my hair had grown out until I like watched the videos and I was like wow you know, it is working. So I've had some pivotal moments and I want to um, share them too, especially with anybody who is trying to consider doing a big chop, you know, and scared to do it. I always want to encourage you, go on and do it. You know what I mean? Look at this. It's beautiful. Look what you're going to get. You know what I mean? And I got the, you know, y'all saw hair on the dryness thing and for this kind of hair shrivels up and this is the hair, you know, that nappy, you know, all the horrible, bad, negative things, you know, people want to say about this hair. But this hair, this is glory. Look at this, man. Wow. This is so unique. And who, who has it? <laughs> anyway, um, I, I don't even know why I started that. But anyway, I just wanted to say that and stuff. So look forward to um, hearing from me. In the next two days because I'm sure some more epiphanies and stuff's gonna happen for me and all that stuff and um yeah and and uh send me comments I want I want to connect especially if some folks see folks up in there and stuff I'm all you know for the whole natural thing but really 4C we the ones need the most love because <laughs> we've been the, we <laughs> ooh. anyway y'all some of y'all was so mean, nappy, you know. Anyway, uh, we gonna talk more about it. But talk with me, y'all. I wanna have something to say back to you. Love you. Love yourself. Peace.